Are you ready for today's challenge? Go ahead, gather your supplies and meet me at the art table. It's a beautiful day to go outside and play. There is a tree I like to go to and play and swing and just have fun around it. It has a nice shade when I get tired. It's so beautiful out there. I want to paint it and you're invited to paint with me. I have my materials here, my primary colors, blue, yellow, and red, and then black and white, my paper or canvas, a paper towel, a cup with water, and then I have my brushes, a flat brush and a round brush, and a pencil. Let's get started. First, I'm going to make, I'm going to go from one corner of the paper all the way to the other corner. So I'll make like a half circle from one corner to another. Got it? And then now I'm going to make, just make a line right in the middle, right in the middle of that circle. Just make a line going up so we know where our tree is going to be. Now over here on the left side, I want you to Make little mountains. Yeah, it's like a little mountain in the back. Very good. I think that's good enough for now. Let's paint the sky. With your big brush, I want you to grab some blue. Make sure your brush is a little wet, it's not too hard, and Starting all the way from the top, go side to side, side to side with your blue, side to side, side to side, side to side. Don't go down unless, until the top is finished and nice and covered. So you're going to have a bunch of little strokes. Make sure you go one long stroke from one side to another. Keep going down. There you go. Now get some white and start blending a little bit into the blue. Where the blue stopped, you're just going to start blending a little bit together and start bringing it down. So now what's going to happen, it's going to turn into a light blue, light blue color. Keep going side to side, side to side, side to side. Keep bringing that light blue all the way down, a little bit of white, a little bit of blue, all the way down to the mountains. Side to side, side to side. All the way down to the mountain. Okay, very good. Is your blue finished? I hope so. So now what we're going to do is with a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow, you don't even have to clean your brush because we're going to make green and then add a little bit of white to it. So now it's light green, a very light green. And you're going to paint your mountains, the mountain behind, that color. It could have a little bit of blue to it too. So it's like a little bluish, greenish mountain. It's far away. We can't see it very well. So it's blending in with a little bit of the sky color. It's 
blue and yellow make some some hills some waves for your mountain here so it can go up and down good now we're going to make more green but now this green is going to be brighter so some blue and yellow and it's going to be a little bit darker too and on that half circle that we painted earlier that we drew earlier I want you to just kind of dab dab around into that circle with your green your dark green dab 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 you can get even some yellow now just grab some yellow and in between add some yellow patches to the grass so it's not only dark green add some yellow patches dab 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 remember to dab because this is giving a nice texture to the grass dab 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 yellow and green and all the different colors they, they, they start coming together they start blending together but you can still see the yellow and the green separately but when you kind of squint your eyes they all come together it looks really nice see you dab 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 good and then I'm just going to get a tiny bit of black very little just a little mosquito bite and right in the middle I'm gonna dab some more and this is pretty much the shadow of the tree that's been created by the tree that's where we're going to place our tree and there's a nice little shadow under it okay very tiny black I don't want it to be too much good I like it put that brush to the side now what we're going to do is we're going to actually we're going to use our fingers and we're going to make clouds so grab some white and right over here we're going to dab and then we're going to smear dab the top smear the bottom do it again I'll make another one here dab the top little little circles you see and then smear the bottom not the top the top you want it to be nice and puffy puffy clouds smear the bottom side to side let's do it again I'll do one here dab the top and smear the bottom I think that's enough tree I mean clouds maybe uh, maybe one here but a light one I don't want it to be standing out too much I'm gonna smear it okay there you go clean your finger I'm gonna get the small brush and I'll get black it's gonna get black and I hope you can still see that line that you made in the middle. If not, you can just redo it. Make a line in the middle. Going up. Now make the trunk of the tree a little thicker in the bottom. So it can be holding the tree and the leaves. So a little bit thicker in the bottom and then it gets thinner as it goes up. And it also as branches so start splitting the tree into branches make some branches 
and they get smaller and thinner as they go out you don't want them to be too thick so release the pressure of your on your brush don't press too hard when you press when you press it hard it gets thicker so as you go out you release the pressure and it gets thinner okay I think that's good enough. Enough branches, possibly. Last one is here. Need to have one kind of going to the side where I'm going to place something that I really like to play with. And it's actually a swing made out of a tire so I'm going to make an oval right here just an oval it's like a circle a little flatter and then a very I'm going to get uh, paint just on the very tip of my brush and I'm going to make a nice little thin rope that's attached to my swing okay now I'm gonna get some white I'm gonna highlight the tire just the top of the tire and I'll highlight a little bit of my tree not much just make some lines the blacks probably still wet and that's okay it will blend in just make some lines quickly nothing too much nothing to stand out and I'm actually gonna make the lines mostly on the left side where my light is coming from the light I'm gonna pretend the light is coming from the left so I'm gonna highlight the left side of the tree good okay make sure that the bottom here is good my tree is grounded okay now I'm gonna get a piece of paper of the, the paper towel just a piece of it I'm not gonna use all of it because I still want this and then crumble it up and I'm going to make my tree a pink tree a red, red with pink and red and pink leaves so I'll get red I'm gonna dab it dab to make my leaves you don't want to dab too much because you want to still be able to see through the tree like you usually see through the leaves so you want to have just enough coverage and do it mostly towards the ends of the branches. You're going to do some in the middle too, but not too much. So dab it around. And now I'm going to get some white. I'm going to smear a little bit here, mix it with to my my red and it's going to turn into pink and I'll dab it over it not everywhere I'll dab less because I still want to see some of that red fun with it I'm going to get a little more white now and I'm not gonna mix it with my pink I want it to be just even lighter more white and I'll highlight here the le especially the left side where the lights coming from I'm gonna do an extra highlight and just now with the white you don't want to go everywhere you just want to go in some 
places. The, the, every time you add a new color, you want less and less of it because you still have to see the red underneath. If you go too much, it's going to take over the whole painting and you're not going to see the layers. Good. That's so cool. I love playing in this tree. So much fun. Okay. Now I'm just going to get this small brush again. And I was thinking, how about I add just a, a few little, clean it up, a few little flowers on the grass. I'm going to get a little bit of that green again. And maybe don't have to do too much to the green. I kind of like the way it is. So I'm just going to add some, some flowers. I'll probably add some little white flowers, little dots, not much, just a few little dots to the ground. Just to show that there are some flowers on the ground too. There you go. And you know what? I'll add a little fence on this side. So I'm going to get some black, yellow, and no, no, I'm sorry, I didn't. Yeah, that's fine. We can get some black and yellow. That's good. Now we can make the, the fence that color. I was going to make brown, and then I was like, oh, let me make black and yellow. And. Right over here is where the fence is going to go. And it's going to go up, up, up like this around and then I'm going to make the posts up just like that. I'll make another one. Yeah, and then I'll add a little white for highlight. There you go. Here's my favorite play, place to go out and play. I hope you had fun painting it. Thank you so much. See you again tomorrow for another art challenge. Thanks for painting with me. I would love to see what you did. So how about you take a picture of your painting and post it on the Spotty Dottie Show Facebook page so I can see it and so you can be entered to win the Stay Creative Art Prize. And at the end of this challenge on August 31st, I will be going live to meet and greet you and to draw the grand prize winner. So see you tomorrow for another painting challenge.